Okay. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome. I hope you're having a nice, smooth start to your week, wherever you are currently in the world. I'm just sipping a coffee. Behind me, I've got a very lazy and very smelly fish, along with a dog. Uh, she's just resting, having gotten back from her W word and the P word, uh, where she basically ran around and smelled all the smells and got covered in grit. Like she's got a fine layer of chalk on her because she's been rolling in every single dust pile that she can find. Hooray! Oops, sorry. Hooray! Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm all good. Everything's fine here. I'm just about to do a bit of the outer wilds for a couple of hours, and then I'm probably going to bog off and do some adult-type chores, notably some banking stuff that I really need to do. Uh, one second, I'm just going to turn that down just for a moment. Um, so, before I get started then with a bit of Outer Wilds, please know that on the YouTube bullshittery front, I've just finished the latest project. The latest bullshittery is done. It's Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part 3, and it's currently available to the patrons and the Twitch subs as a sort of early access thing. So if you're a patron, it's up on Patreon. If you're a Twitch subscriber, then there's a Discord group below. However, if you don't have Discord, I'm sure if you ask one of the mods very, very politely, uh, they might hook you up with the link. Uh, and yes, uh, do let me know what you think. Tell me what you think of the bullshittery in the comments. I'm quite intrigued to hear your thoughts. Hopefully it's good. I'll get on with the next bullshittery soon. I'm just taking a few days to relax and recenter myself and generally recharge the mental batteries in preparation for the next edit, which is going to be Divinity Original Sin Part 3, because I really would like to get that that series progressing. It's definitely a type of series that is going to rely on being together in one complete piece, in one big playlist that one can watch through from start to finish, so it's uh, quite critically important that I get on with it. And also I have some dependencies with Divinity that I don't have with other projects, notably voice work. I can't, like, take seven years to make this thing and then find out that the voice actress that I'm commissioning is no longer in voice acting, if you know what I mean. Right. Hmm. Hang on. So yes, I'm just sipping a coffee. So, uh, thank you Tamolu and Lord of Sheeps and Gruben Nolm, Shala Wins, Wigo, uh, Wigo again, uh, Ash Derpinson, The Ace of Spades, McCraw, Callum and Hill Tramp. Thank you all of you sincerely, folks. Thank you. So, as for right now... Hang on. Where was it? Was it there? There we go. Just messing with the master volume. So, welcome to Outer Wilds. Quite an interesting and very atmospheric game. To give you the... Uh, yeah, to give you the... Uh, words. To give you the lowdown on what's happening, we're playing as a young astronaut as part of a, a sort of primitive-ish looking people who, well, they do seem to have quite some technology sort of hidden beneath a sort of, I don't know what the word for it is, like um, odd world punk. <laughs> so very primitive looking technology, but nevertheless they're working on a space program. Is it too loud? I'll turn it down a smidge. Sorry. I'll turn it down there for you. Right. So yes, um, we're playing as a young Harthian from Timber Hearth, which is not this planet that's circling here. It's a small planetoid that's nearby this planet that's on the main menu. I think this planet on the main menu is probably the moon. Uh, what is it called again? Atarok? Atlarok? Something rock. Anyway, so on launching into space as part of our first trip into space, but not certainly not the um, this species trip into space, we saw something extremely strange. Our star went supernova, and we woke up again. Despite having died, we woke up again around the campfire where we started. Observe. I presume it's going to return us to the campfire. Here we go. We open our eyes and see something explode in orbit. This is Slate. He's an engineer. One of the Harthians that helped build the spacecraft that I'm going to be using to get back up get back up into space. But yes, yeah, something is wrong. Something is terribly wrong. For the star went supernova, we died, we saw a strange symbol with three eyes, and then we were back here, at the campfire where the game started, able to cook marshmallows if we wish. Like so. 
Is that, does he keep going blech if it's not very nice? Not sure. Marshmallows are awesome. Hmm. <laughs> so Slate said that a campfire before the launch was a tradition, I think he mentioned. Okay, let's get back up onto the launch pad. Thank you, Eurico and Hill Tramp, thank you. So we're atop a hollowed out tree above the village. And this is the spacecraft that we were using, a sort of crudely built, sort of half alien technology. Well, not even half, but hang on, let me show you. Ooh. So aboard the spaceship, we actually have artifacts that we've recovered from the Namai, a sort of alien race that passed through here, we think. And we're sort of using it to assist our space program. There's the sun. Something's wrong with it. And for some reason we're not dying when it explodes, so... Hmm. Okay. What now? I could go back to Hornfell. Hornfell is in the observatory. He's one of the Harthians who's acting as mission control. Or he was. I think he just cura curates the museum. We could ask him what he thinks about all this. I'm not sure he has an answer. We did pop up to the moon a short while ago where we bumped it. Sorry, was it Eskar was his name? The older gentleman who was whistling. Turns out I have this device in my hand which lets me listen to... Instruments in the sky. So there's a set of drums over there. So I'm not sure what planet that is, but I do know that... Is it Nice? She said that of all the instruments that she's made... What was it? Rybeck had the banjo. Uh, Felspar had the harmonica. Chert had the drums. Chert is one of the Harthians who's leaving passive-aggressive notes saying, this is mine, this is mine, on all of his stuff. So I guess that's probably Chert up there? Ah, a wind instrument. I think that's around the gas giant of Giants Deep, but I don't know which Harthian is there. And that person whistling is Eskar, I think his name is. The pensioner who's sitting on the moon. He seems very lonely. <laughs> I went up there and I spoke to him. He was like, he was like don't go. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Thank you, Sir Tony. And Ario Gatto. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to pop over to the museum for a second. Is there a way to get over there easily? No, I think we have to go... I can just fly the thing, can't I? No, let's not make another crater in the village, eh? Seems so bored. It, appear it seems to be a story game. You're looking at a true blind playthrough, I'm afraid, so I can't tell you anything about it beyond what I see. Let's go to the museum briefly. I can use the jetpack? Can I? Let's give that a welly then. Whoop. <laughs> so if, if I put on my suit, which has a jetpack, does it work in in uh, what is it? Timberhearth's gravity? No, not well. Not well at all, frankly. Oh, fire jet booster. Oh, oh, see, whoa, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, all right then. That works. Woo! Woo! God! Oh. Cool. So this is the observatory where... Who is it that ran it? It was Hal? So Hal was looking at the statue and uh, Hornfell Mission Control. So yeah, this is the strange statue that they found of the Nomai. Let me talk to Hornfell. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Me too. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. 
Was there something you needed? Uh, I can't seem to talk to him about the explosion of the star. Where are the other travellers? Well, let's see. Chert is on Hourglass Twins. Okay, so the drums come from Hourglass Twins then. Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow. And Gabro is on Giant Steep. I'm told that Gabro is a bit nuts. And then there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Was there something else you needed? Hmm. No thanks, I'm good. Take care. Okay. So I've already gone up to... Well, I, I saw um, on the... Yes, yeah, so hang on, this is a, a quick shot of the... Of the Outer Wilds Ventures, uh, the name of the space program that the Harthians have made. Uh, so, oh, hang on. Gossen still has his eye. I presume that's Gossen? So that's Feldspar, Mission Control. Gossen still has his eye. He was missing one before. Oh, no, wait, is that Gossen? Gossen, Hornfeld, Gossen, Feldspar, Eskar, Slate. Oh, they're just signatures, not who. Hang on. Clockwise from top left, Hornfell, who's behind me, Gossen, who is in the cave, missing an eye, uh, Slate, who is the engineer cooking uh, marshmallows, and Feldspar, so the guy at the bottom bottom right we've never met. Hmm. Sorry, no, clockwise, it's the bottom left. So Feldspar is to the bottom left. He's the guy that we're missing. Okay. So yeah, for those not familiar, for those joining the stream, it's a sort of story, I think, story-driven adventure game that's quite similar to... It's very much a sort of like Abe's Odyssey meets Kerbal Space Program, it feels. With a big helping of Little Big Adventure, if anyone remembers that. Okay. So who's the boy throwing the rock? It was Arcos? Arcoy? What was his name? Some sort of strange, dangerous matter that I've got to avoid in space. Okay. Let's get back aboard the ship. Woo! Oh, sorry. Probably did hit a crow or something. I see, I've got only limited booster there. Best be careful. Okay. Whoop. So, when I first left, it was recommended that I first go and visit the Atle Rock in order to translate some Nomai ruins. I'm the first Harthian astronaut to carry a sort of translation device which I can use to translate the Nomai text. Previously, we've never been able to do that, so maybe we should go back. Although I will need to put that back on if I'm going to uh, if I'm going to breathe on Atle Rock. Okay, let's strap in. All right, here we go. And lift off. Nope. Okay, gentle pulse. Not too much, because last time I nearly I nearly flew directly into the sun. <laughs> Oops, shit. And I just unbuckled myself again. Okay. Now, where is Atle Rock? Where is the moon? There you are. So we're going to lock onto you. We're going to hold space to match your velocity. And then we're going to fly straight towards you. That's Eskar around his campfire, I assume. That's that's Eskar's house. It's very little big adventure, isn't it? <laughs> What's that over there? Is that a crashed vessel? I think it is. Let's have a quick look around then. Okay. It's a big crater. What's that there? Is that a ruin? Looks like it. I guess this is what we're here to have a look at. Okay. Let's park the ship. Boop. 
Okay. Ooh, trippy. Right. What's this, sorry? Little scout. Sees bon beyond the horizon, illuminates dark areas, detects hazards, tests the environment. I have a scout? Can I launch it somehow? Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Lackey Bobby and Seventeen and Cake Hunter. There's Timber Hearth down there. So are these the Namai ruins? Oh, hello. What's that? What is it? Weird. Equip scout launcher. Maybe I'm supposed to direct that ball down this, maybe? Ah, oh, my tech. Trees detected, oxygen refilled. Oh, I see. Sweet. Okay. So this is the translation tool that I've been sent up with. Too close to the text, hang on. So untranslated Nomai writing. Uh, Coleus, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear the fol uh, it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant's deep and brittle hollow. Okay. Chip. Uh, however, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. The what? Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Uh, Kesava, our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. They're searching for the eye of the universe. What is that? Untranslated, no, my writing. This is a curious result, says Thatch. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. The eye of the universe. Some sort of locator device? What's this thing? Pick up scroll. Key, maybe? More text. Thatch. Where uh where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Uh Collis uh, sorry, Collier says Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twins built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. So those are, that's the planet that's Mercury, isn't it? The one that's closest to the sun. Hmm. The, south, the southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Felix says, yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction, says Plume, on, on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately, immediately then. Okay. So the Namai, a strange three-eyed furry race, were here building eye locators, whatever that means. Okay.
play recording. Is this Chert again? Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travellers' pictures, but seeing it for myself? It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool. By the way, um, sorry, it's incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure. Uh, I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Okay. Maybe this is Rybeck. Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. O oh, stars above. Hmm. So I'm the first Harthian to have a translator for this text. So they knew that they were looking for something, but they didn't know it was called the Eye of the Universe. Whatever that means. I've already translated all of this. Is there another thing that I can... I wonder if I can operate the locator, would it do something? Look, the sun gets larger and larger and then just explodes and then I wake up next to the campfire. Oh look, are these representing the planets? Is that giants? Whoa. Giants deep. at the sun, not a planet behind the sun. Okay, so that's the sun, that's Giant's Deep. What's this? That thing there, that thing's called um, Brittle Hollow. What does that sound like to you? Like a piano. No, it's a, sorry, it's a soundtrack. Like a humming, like a deep humming at Brittle Hollow. Okay. So what's this? <clears throat> I see. trying to find the eye of the universe and it's just spinning out of control. It can't find it. Well, sorry to... Like, dumb suggestion. If, it, if it's spinning out of control, is it not on it? Are you sure the eye of the universe isn't literally here? Whatever that is. Okay. So, for those joining the stream, you're looking at some sort of ancient alien scanning device for something that they call the Eye of the Universe. They're able to tune it to the individual planets, although notably only three planets, searching for whatever that is supposed to be. And we can hear strange sounds coming from these individual worlds. Oh yeah, look, we haven't actually translated the Namai ruins down on the surface. Perhaps we should do that next. Go back down to Harthian. Maybe go back and talk to Hal, tell him what we found? Okay. I 
do. Yes, I do have this. But it's currently detecting the music of the Harthians, see? Each of us are playing different musical instruments. As we float around the space, yeah, as we float around our solar system. Where's my log? Here we go. So view ship's log. What have we got here? So these are entries, info entries on what I've figured out so far. Here we go. So what does it say? Aha. Uh -huh. So, following the clues then, what's this? Uh, sorry, how does one zoom? Zoom view, left shift, there we go. So there's the village, view entry. Yeah, there we go. So from the village, uh, the one and only Harthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Namai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flash before my eyes. Hal says the statue has never opened its eyes before, despite Hornfell's best efforts. Zero-G cave, so that's where I went down beneath the village to practice fixing a satellite as part of my zero-G training this Gabro so Gabro is the name of one of the Harthians who's a bit weird apparently view rumor how says Gabro went back to Giants Deep to try and learn more about the Namai statue in the observatory so we should go to Giants Deep at some point to have a look I signal locator so this is on Atle Rock uh, Atle Rock right here a Namai device created created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals the Namai were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Ryback. So he is the one who's apparently. So he, yeah, it must have. It must have been Ryback who. Uh, Ryback who was here. Sorry, who's Ryback? Isn't that the? Isn't that Casey Ryback from the Under Siege series, played by what's his name? That actor that no one likes. No, not him. I really hope it's not him. I hope Steven Seagal is not on Brittle Hollow. Ryback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Southern Ob Observatory. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Okay. So I guess if we follow the banjo music, we'll find that. Okay. Eskar's Camp. So Eskar is growing a crop of trees at their camp. So this is Atle Rock, Atle Rock even. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Yeah, poor dude. Lunar Lookout, what's this? A lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Eskar uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. He's spying on us. All right. Dark Bramble Seed. A seed from Dark Bramble, so that's one of the outer planets, crashed here and has already taken root. Tektite wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. My signal scope picks up a harmonica, sorry, harmonica music when I aimed it at the seed. There is more to explore here. Okay. So we should, yeah, let, let's go back down to Harthian. Uh, sorry, back down to Timber Hearth even. Harthian's the name of the species. We'll have a look at those Nomai ruins with the translator, well, with the text that we can translate, and also go and have an, in, well, go and investigate that seed. Okay. Right. Oh wait, that's just the map view. Oh, Quantum Moon. Brittle Hollow. Apparently, the Quantum Moon is quite difficult to find because it keeps moving. Whenever you observe it, it keeps moving. Okay. Let's lift up here. One second. Initiating the engine. I'm just going to cruise around the moon for a moment. Oh wow, there's a huge section here. What the fuck? Oh, we landed here before, didn't we? We found... What was it we found? Like notes, I think, from Chert? Good God, holy shit, that entire section of the moon is gone. That's the observatory. Yeah, property of Chert. For some reason, Chert seems to mark everything as his property. 
I'm guessing people keep fucking with this stuff. Eh, let's go speak with Eskar. Why not? Say hi. If I run quickly, can I make it? Can't breathe, can't breathe, can't breathe. Can I fuck it? Hey, Eskar. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Dude, I was here like 10 minutes ago. I don't have anything new to talk to him about when it comes to the ruins here. You've been here all this time? You haven't been investigating the ruins? Yeah, he's just chilling. There's marshmallows. Okay. Unidentified signal nearby. That mean? Oh, I see. Signal identified. Eska. Yep, that's Eska. Okay. It's getting bigger. That's what she said. Whoop. It's happening, isn't it? Look. Here we go again. Wake up. That same explosion again. Some strange blue light. And something falling apart. And then does it fall? Does the wreckage fall inside Giant's Deep? I think it does. Look. I thought it was orbiting around, but I think it actually sinks inside the gas giant. Jesus Christ. I seem to be the only one who's aware of this time jump, or whatever it is. Okay. Let's get back up in the ship. And take the Namai translator over to the ruins here at, half, at uh, Timber Hearth. So for those just joining the stream, I'm part of a race of fairly primitive-ish creatures that are working on their own space program. I'm not the first astronaut, I'm probably like the 6th or 7th. And they all launch from this platform here in the village here. At Timber Hearth. Most of them are out in space exploring, but I'm the first one who's equipped with this Nomai translator. And we're going through the language of the Nomai. Am I ignoring the chat? Not necessarily ignoring D1, it's just I'm trying to remain immersed in the story. One moment. Thank you, Catus. Thank you very much, Catus. What are these things, then? We've already seen a demonstration of tidal forces. I wonder if perhaps the water here is being forced up due to the orbit of uh, Atle Rock. One second. Ooh, 
What's that thing? Oh, I see. Is that our? That's our satellite camera, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if I can accidentally ram into that. Hmm. Just, get, just gonna get my jetpack. Right. Springs, or just regular springs. Whee. Oh wow! Is this gonna kill me? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! That, that seems like a really bad idea. Fall into a geyser, get incinerated. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Okay. Cool. Out. Okay. What's this? Pre flight checklist. Ah, cool. Uh, auto equip, auto boost. What's this? Uh, freeze time when translating text. Oh, I see. Ah, just like an options thing. Neat. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Here we go. So, where are those Nomai ruins? So, this is probably that place with the creepy rocks. I don't want to go down there. There are some weird, strange rocks that keep moving whenever you stop looking at them. What's this? Is this the... Ooh. They're my ruins, maybe? Some sort of bridge. Here they are. Okay. Have a look. Probably take my jetpack just in case. Hang on. Whoop. Okay. Weird. Does it make any noise? No. Huh. What is it? Just a symbol. Not sure. Maybe it just marks a landing zone? Like a literal landing pad for a ship? Maybe? Huh. What's down here? Hmm. Oh. Merely a bridge? So despite passing through, the Namai were building things here. What's this? In their search for something... Hmm. 
their search for the eye of the universe, whatever that, hello. Do you mind? Mining site, 2B. Can you be quiet? Thank you. You too, shut it. Right. Mining site. Why, why would they be mining here? Maybe raw resources sufficient to build their... Whatever it is? Scanner? Ooh. Ah. Is it going to close behind me, ominously? Maybe? Jump by. Fuck! No! 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 Fuck! The water pushed me down. Am I okay? right now? I think I'm underwater. Were they boring? They were... Is this the machine that was doing it? Pulling matter from the walls. It's fully automated, it's just... Wait, if they were pulling matter from the walls, that means... I'm matter. Oh, don't get churned up by some fucking alien grinder. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Ash Twin? What's Ash Twin? Hourglass Twin is the name of the planet that near the sun, not Ash Twin. Cycad. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. Ono says, 
No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Collier says, I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use Timber Hearth's ore only for construct constructing the shell. If, eventually, life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advancing metallurgy, uh, advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have to destroy their ability to create. That's nice of them, at least. So they left behind some of their tech. They left behind too much tech. I mean, look, they didn't leave, did they? There are corpses of them here. They probably would have left behind a lot less. Psychad says, if they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned a core... a core dingley? What? I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns. A core dingley. Oh, accordingly! I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Really? The ancient aliens are making puns. And those puns are clearly so advanced that they go over my hearty and cranium. Shut up, chat. Collier says, how else would he improve? So they were people. These were actual people. I had my doubts. I thought they were... I don't know. I figured that they might be AI. I wondered if perhaps that statue that we found is in fact a Nomai in the sense that it was a machine, but no, there are physical bodies of them. And they're, they're making puns and writing on walls. Hmm. Uh, one minute, I have alien activity in my flat. Hmm? Hmm? What's this? Hmm? I found an alien. I found an alien. Yeah, I found a smelly alien. Who's a smelly alien? Huh? Who's a smelly alien? Who's a smelly alien, huh? Huh, you smelly? Smelly, smelly alien. Hmm? <laughs> ah, she's a happy girl. Hmm? You a happy girl? Do you know what I'm going to say next? I think I can hear a cat outside the window. <laughs> there we are. No, you're meant to go to the window. There's a cat out the window. Out there. There we go. That'll keep her distracted for a while. She'll sit atop the window and then realise that the radiator is switched on and she's got a nice warm front belly. So she'll stay there for quite a while. As you can tell, she doesn't like CATs at all. Hmm. Right. So for the people just joining the stream, you're looking at a sort of an adventure game where I'm playing as a young astro astronaut from Timber Hearth, this forest world. I'm a Harthian? We're like Mudarkans almost, if you remember Oddworld. What's this? Ash Twin Projection Stone. What does that symbolize? The towers that were, that were mentioned. Okay. So this ore is not being used for the towers. It's being used for a protective shell? It died whilst eating? Why would it die whilst eating? They didn't even have chance to react. They, they were just killed in place. Here. Okay. Not sure what those symbols represent. Wait. Is that Harthian? With the pine trees? Hmm. Okay. Not Harthian, I keep saying Harthian. Timber Hearth, I meant. Yarrow. 
My gratitude for the latest shipment. Uh, oh no. This ore should be the last we ne will need for the Ash Twin project, whatever that is. This is exciting news, says Ono. Uh, oh, we know even. Uh, can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Yarrow, we'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. And the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects Ash Twin Project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. Were they containing something here? Sealing it off entirely with no entrances. And it wasn't considering us. Think about it. When they're talking about before we'd even evolved, they were talking. Uh, they weren't talking about um, Timber Half as as though people were still here. So were they, were they hoping that they could just bury something in the solar system? The Ash Twin Project. And then they all died so quickly that they. They were literally eating. They were sitting there with a bowl in its hand. None of these people evacuated. Wait, another one. Where's the stone? Thank you, Backfire. Thank you. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that just in my head, or...? Those were the same symbols as before. The ones I see every time I die. Note the three eyes in the middle. Same as their skulls. Look. Machines, maybe? AI? Indeed, only a handful of them were active. The rest were switched off. Strange. More pieces of the puzzle. But I cannot yet see the picture. by. Is there anything else that I need to look at here? That's the entrance. I don't think I've been down there, if I can go down there. Let's keep exploring. How many skeletons? There are at least six, I think. One there, two over there. There's one near the entrance. There's one up here. So what, five? Four. So there are four skeletons. I think. Okay. So how does one get down, presumably? Hmm. Is it too quiet, Empty? Shall I turn it shall I turn my voice up? Another one.
Okay. So mining site 2B saw ore being extracted for the Ash Twins project. A protective shell around something. And the miners appear to have died instantly. They weren't clawing at the entrance. They weren't huddled around escape craft. They died where they stood. second. Oh shit, it's just gonna go again. Quick, before it goes. Before it goes. The Namai Mines, the Ash Twin Project more clues without answers. So, view entry. The Namai mined ore from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, the Namai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. The Ash Twin project. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. That's what we know so far. Ember Twin, Ash Twin, I see. So there are, in fact... Right, so it's a... yeah, two worlds then. Okay. Collectively, they are the Hourglass Twins then. Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, Hollow's Lantern, I see. Okay. Strange. Right. Let me just pop this back. So for the people just joining the stream, I'm playing as a young astronaut who is part of an alien race called the Parthians. But every time I launch, we notice that something's gone horribly wrong with the sun and it's entered a supernova phase extremely early. It explodes, as it's about to do any second now, when it starts producing iron in its core, which robs it of its energy, causing gravity to win in the equation. And the whole thing collapses and explodes. But then we come back to life again, seeing the same symbols that we saw inside that mine. gonna go any second. Maybe this is where they launched the material. Transporting it onto ships, maybe. There it goes. I'm starting to wonder if it's AI. 
I'm starting to wonder if I'm looking at some sort of a machine. Its design is a lot similar to Nomai technology. Wake up. Explosion, light, something flies that way, and the wreckage falls into giant deep. Okay. We should go over to what's it called? Brittle Hollow? The South Pole. Figure out what on earth they were building at the South Pole. Some sort of scanning system. Hey there, Slate. This is Slate, he's the engineer. He built the ship. Okay. <laughs> You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. Oh, the sun is going supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between, between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfell's domain. Me? I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. Hmm. So normally, the, yeah, normally the process of a star running out of fuel and exploding is a um, several million year process. I mean, depends on the size of the star. It's actually the bigger the star that uh, causes, uh, it, well, basically the larger the star, the faster it goes through its fuel. If the star is relatively small, it will just keep on quietly burning away. But the bigger the star, how does it work again? Sorry, my brain. Is it the bigger the star, the more layers it has? And therefore, therefore the faster it's able to burn through its fuel or something? Whereas if it's just a relatively small star, then it's all a very slow moving a slow moving ball of hydrogen and helium. Yeah, whereas the larger star can start fusing start fusing new elements incredibly quickly and it cycles through them, you see. So the star will start um sorry, does it start with hydrogen into helium? I can't remember the order. I did I did one time many years ago. But it starts cycling through the individual elements, one by one, until eventually it gets to iron. And the problem with iron is that it robs the energy from the star on its creation. So all of a sudden, the, de the delicate ballet that's at play between the, the nuclear reaction and the gravity, so the, the explosion pushing all this matter away from it and the gravity holding it all together, suddenly goes lopsided in, in one direction and the whole star just falls, as in quite literally, the whole star falls onto the core. Because all the iron is just soaking up all of... well, soaking up all the energy. And then the whole thing just explodes. It depends on the mass of the star. If the star is relatively small-ish, it will explode and create the largest possible explosion... Uh, possible explosion, the supernova. But if the star is big enough, then it will collapse down on itself, creating a black hole. Hmm. Okay. Indeed. So there are a couple of barriers to do with, like, hard barriers in the universe when it comes to how tightly you can squish atoms together. Electron degeneracy and neutron degeneracy. The outer part of the atom with the electron, it's fairly easy to squash the electron against the surface of the proton and the neutron, against the core. So it's not too hard for a star to overcome that. But it's really hard for a star to overcome neutron degeneracy, which is squashing uh, neutrons together. And when it does, that's when the whole, well, all of our physics kind of goes out the window a little bit, because you create a singularity, you create a black hole, and things get weird. Sorry, I'm rambling. Um, what am I doing? Let's go to Brittle Rock then. 
Okay. So, according to this scanning device... So there's Esker. I see, I can identify him now. Hello, Esker. He's on the moon. So Ryback has a banjo that Nice or Nice, the old lady over there with the chair, she's got her own banjo. So she gave one to Ryback, and Ryback was apparently on Atle Rock, and then he went off to uh, Brittle Hollow. Drums, and that's probably Chert. He's a bit passive aggressive. Not sure what that is. I'm guessing that's. Is it. Not Gosson. Grabo? Garbo? He's a bit weird. That's Esker. Is it Gabo? Gabro. What's his name? Gab something. Apparently he's a bit loopy. Hmm. I can't. Oh, hello. Harmonica. Drums. Okay, I'm just going to take take flight and then we'll find it when we're in space. I'm sure I can just initiate the autopilot. Here we go. Initiating flight. And we are off. Okay. So, let's now open up. No, don't fall back to the surface. That's stupid. Woo! Shit the bed. I'm okay. That was a manly noise, honestly. <laughs> Woo! Okay, there it is. Is that it? Pretty sure that's it. Hollow Lantern. No, way. Hollow's Lantern? Is that the moon? No, oh, there we go. Brittle Hollow. Let's go to Brittle Hollow, then. Match Brittle Hollow. Engage Autopilot. Here we go. Can I unbuckle with Autopilot enabled? Hey, sweet. That's kind of cool. What a cracking little game. Ooh. Here we go. It's very cozy, isn't it? It's very cozy. Can it land automatically or not? Ooh, look. I see. We've stopped here in orbit. Ah, there he is. That must that must be Rybeck. Okay. Is he on the South Pole? Oh, it's tilted, I think. What is that? What the fuck is that in the middle of? That's not what I think it is, is it? Is that a singularity? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy fucking shit. Oh. Oh. That would be why Brittle Hollow was making that strange noise. Hang on. Oh, Jesus Christ. What happened there? Is it raining chunks of rock? I'm trying to spot through the crust. Thank you. 
Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's terrifying. Okay, I'm gin. Oh, God, okay. What? What just happened? Shit, is it coming apart? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me right now. You're kidding me. No, 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 Back up. Did the crust just come apart around a black hole? So hold on, it's not... It's not a planet. This is like an accretion disk around a black hole. That's fucking terrifying. That is genuinely scary. Okay, that is absolutely horrifying. I don't like that. That's really horrible. Okay, a black hole is probably one of the scariest things in the entire fucking universe. And this thing is the accretion disk somehow not spinning around like at ridiculous speed. Jesus, I don't even I don't even want to look at it. It weirds me the fuck out. I don't like it. Okay, hang on. What's this? Let's find Ryback. I'm scared. I want a hug. Hang on. Ryback even. I keep saying Ryback, like fucking hang on. Where is he? He's down there. 300 meters. It works in flight, does it? Oh. Oh, sweet. Oops. No, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Where is he? He's not inside the core, is he? Like, staring at a black hole? No, there he is. No, wait. Where is he? What the fuck? South Pole. Ah, ooh, okay. Maybe that's the observatory that they wanted to build. So let's go fly around the other way and find the other pole. What the hell am I doing right now? Hang on. He's down... There. Don't lose him. Don't answer that chat. What? There. I see. I see some trees. Is this a landing site? Can I squeeze in? Barely. Okay. I can hear him. Right. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Sections of the planet are just being pulled off and eaten by the, by the black hole. Hang on. What does it say? The Hanging City. The Nomai built themselves a settlement around the black hole? Maybe it was their power source. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no. This is really nervous. Right, Beck. The fuck are you doing here? 
What are you wearing? Hello. Oh! You launched! That's great! Good, great job, you! Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow. I bet you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. Is it? This place sucks! Dude, you're playing a banjo around the accretion disk of a black hole. How are you not shitting yourself? What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously. Uh, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere. My little scout says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout and this seems to be the best place with the best surface integrity so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Hey, that'd be... yeah. What the fuck are you still doing here? Where's your ship? Oh, he said he was launched here via a gravity thing. He's not even here on purpose. I see. Okay. Uh, does he just repeat his dialogue? Uh, me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Oh, um, the archaeologist, I guess. The archaeologist, he says. Seeing as I'm all timber has got right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with no my history. That's why I'm here. This planet... Fuck a duck. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. And death. If you have any questions about Brittle Hollow, no, uh, Brittle Hollow no my, I'm your Harthian. Dude, dude, the city literally just fell off behind you. What the fuck? How are you calm? If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Namai, I'm your Harthian, or um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so maybe I can help? Where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Well, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate, because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. Uh, that's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome to the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I've tried. But uh, if, if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust. Good luck exploring. Uh, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it, uh, if it's not too much trouble. I've learned something. Oh, cool. Um, what is it? Actually, actually, never mind. <laughs> she just cock him, uh, cock, sorry, cock block him in an archaeological sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you, uh, if you do find, uh, sorry, if you do find, learn something, sorry? If you do find, learn something about the Namai, though, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you don't mind, I mean. Okay. So for those joining the stream, we're sitting around a campfire roasting marshmallows eating marshmallows around a literal fucking black hole <laughs> gives me the willies Yeah, what is this anyway? Hang on. Photo mode. I see. Oh. 
Okay. Gotcha. Uh, how cool is that? So has it entered stable orbit? Oh look, a teleport similar to. Oh wow, is, is it? Is it in a decaying orbit around the black hole? Oh wow, the text even bends as it goes around. Whoa. Presumably the structure was much larger, and it's since come... Yeah, it must be coming apart. God damn. Speaking of coming apart, our star's about to go supernova again. So I'm guessing the black hole was maybe their power source. You can use black holes as power sources. Well, as a power source, so long as you surround it by mirrors. Maybe it was originally contained. Jesus, the Namai must be incredibly powerful to harness a black hole. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. What is this thing? Oh, what the fuck? Did I get stuck there? Oh, oh, no, 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 I don't want to fall on that. No, 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 no. No. Oh, 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 Oh no. Hold me. Okay. So why are we stuck in this loop? Why nobody else? That statue did something. Okay. Let's get back aboard the ship. Get back to Brittle Hollow. See if we can find our way into that observatory. Try to figure out what they're trying to figure out. The Nomai. Captain's log. Wait. Why is that? That's fine. Rybex camp. The Hanging City. Here we go. More clues. To say oh yes, I also forgot to investigate the plant, didn't I? So what's this? View entry. One second. Eye signal locator. Southern observatory. The Namai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal, uh, eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Rybeck says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They've tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Okay. Right. Uh, one minute. Whoopsie. There we go. So, more to explore there. View entry, Rybex camp. 
Rybeck has set up a camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement at being surrounded by so much Namai history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. Rybeck is Timberhalf's only archaeologist. They overcame their fear of space to explore Brittle Hollow's treasure trove of Nomai culture. Hmm. Okay. Let's go over and, and investigate that seed while we're here, before I forget again. So, buckle up. Who was it? A Harthian called... Was it Tektite? I think Tektite went to investigate a crash site nearby. Here at Harthian. Uh, here at... Uh, timber half and he found this a plant growth a strange plant surrounded by those what? meant to do that surrounded by those same crystals that we saw on uh, Atle Rock what? let's go talk to him hello Hello, Hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. I thought I'd come over here myself to take a look. So what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might come off of dark bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling. And that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody uh, up to hacking up a, a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what, what's lurking inside there. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously the opening is too small for something, someone to fit inside. Uh, and anywhere. And anyway, sorry. I'm not going to blindly stick my hand into anything that looks as, unple as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Okay. Well, I've got my launcher. Let me try my launcher. That's not it. Oh. It's on my suit. One moment. Ah. Uh. Okay. Right. Creepy. Okay. Fire. Error. Duplicate signal. Scout. 200. And it's continually going. Ugh, creepy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where is it? What? Okay, that's pretty eerie. It's falling through a void of thorns. What is that? What is that? It's glowing, whatever it is. It looks like the core of something. And the front of it, it looked a lot like that fish thing. You know, that angler fish that we've got in the museum as we flew through with the teeth and the little light on its head and everything. Strange. Very strange. But why the hell would it... I don't know. Creepy. You can rotate the camera? Can you? Whoops. Piss. No, you can't. Can you? Photo mode, one to four. Or maybe you can. 
Rear view snapshot. Hang on. Look, look at this. Let me show you this. Look, it looks exactly like the anglerfish that we got in the museum. Something's on its teeth. A canvas of some description. Now it's stuck again. Strange. I oh, see. Rotate camera. Gotcha. Some creepy life form. Okay. Well, how is the camera getting wherever that thing is? Is it like a teleport? Blast's sea did a lot of damage when it crashed. I like this crater. No, I'm good. Quite a lot of them are, mi are missing limbs, aren't they? Limbs, eyes, a piece of an ear. Is it all from the space program? There was a dialogue option? Was there really? Sorry. What do you say? Oh, here we go. Thank you. Um, I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside? Hmm. This is going to be a chore to chop up, and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I'll, I'll better grab an extra axe or three, just in case. I think you're going to need more than a few axes. Strange. Take care, Standard D. Have a lovely afternoon. Very strange. Captain's log. Also, I'm just going to pour a quick drink to wet the whistle. No specific entry for it, unless... Did we get an improved entry here? Yeah, we did. Inside the seed. When I launched my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Half, it ended up in a much bigger space, filled with fog and thorny vines. Peculiar. Thank you, Ifrit. Thank you very much, Ifrit. Okay. Huh. Just assembling pieces in my head, I'm not fishing for the correct answer. I'm wondering, these pieces that were scattered around and in the crater as well, if we go over to, what was it called, the Hourglass Twins, I wonder if we're going to find that the protective shell that they were building, the Namai were building, is made of this exact same ore. If this is in fact pieces of the protective shell, and maybe whatever this plant thing is, is being contained was being contained inside it. I rather hope not. I rather hope not indeed. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's head back to, uh, head back to, what is it called? Uh, Brittle Hollow again. So let's go to... There she is. Brittle Hollow. Engage autopilot. What's that there? Uh, autopilot, why are you flying towards the sun? Uh, autopilot, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, engage autopilot back to Timber Hearth. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, what the... I'm blaming Slate for that. Slate put the autopilot, which flew me directly into the sun.
Wake up. <gasps> Explosion. Falling. Slate, you bastard! You bastard! There's our pilot, ready to get this beauty off the ground. <laughs> the autopilot! <laughs> There's actually an option! The game developers put in an option. That's amazing. The autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. Had an exciting dream, did you? Fuck you, you four-eyed freak. It's not exactly impossible for the autopilot to get you too close to the sun, but it's not like it'll try to take you there on purpose. Make sure the sun isn't between you and your destination when you engage the autopilot, and you'll be fine. What a twat. And your marshmallows suck! Ugh. Right. Okay. So, take two. Make sure that the sun is not between me and the target then. Where's Brittle Hollow? Just initiate the map, good night. Or just crash, you know, that's also an option. There it is. It's right there, look. Brittle Hollow. Target set. Initiate autopilot. Okay. So, before we come into land, let's have a quick, a quick look around there. So look, these are also no my ruins. Okay. That's the observatory on the South Pole. Whose ship is that? Rybeck said he didn't have a ship, did he? He says he wasn't even planning to go up into space. So whose ship is that? Jesus Christ. Is it his ship? Did they send him a... Jesus. Did they send him a ship? Okay. Must be his then. Right. I wasn't paying attention? No, I guess not. I thought he said that he stepped into an alien device which catapulted him up. Oh wait, what's this? Ew. Ooh. Ah, this must be a note from Rybeck. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that ship, in that the ship went down, uh, I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, but it's like the ship ne uh, never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts, Feldspar would barely uh, have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I, um haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one, if there were one. P, probably. Oh, per probably, he's stuttering. I can't get inside from here, but I know that there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down.
Jesus Christ. Are we okay? That was a bit close, that one. I don't really want to stay on the surface if there's a chance that it could suddenly not be the surface. Like so. Okay. Keep searching. That is absolutely terrifying. What is that? Trying to find a suitable landing site. Well, I guess next to his ship would be fine. I mean, presumably this won't collapse on me. Can I follow his footsteps? Hang on. Near the equator, he said. One moment. Surface integrity going down, it said. You're kidding me. Oh god, I see. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's proper, proper unnerving. Oh, I see. It was the scout's location? Not my location. Okay. Cool, look at that. Right, so, unbuckle, stay here, go for a wander. Equip the scout, fire it here. I see, surface integrity, 100%. Can I see myself? Hey, that's me! Cool! <laughs> I have... I, I'm, I'm wielding it through telekinesis? What? There's no... I'm, I'm not physically holding it. <laughs> oh dear. Zero out of ten. IGN. Fifty two per cent. Like that. Okay, so hang on, I have to use my Yeah, my jetpack barely gets me anywhere. How did he get... Hang on. All that. Any way that way? Yeah, there's some sort of... Let's keep going that way. Hang on. There's something this way. There. What is that? Hmm. A 
unidentified signal nearby. What the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus. Ugh. A rickety platform over a black hole. Are you kidding? No, my text. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You might not. You must not slip. Yeah, no shit. What's that up there? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Or get hit by falling rocks. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Does that come come apart? Hundred percent integrity. Okay. Thatch, is everyone unharmed? One to four. Plume, no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impacts. Escape pod. We're incredibly fortunate. Thatch, this is good news. Shit, three minutes of oxygen. Um, Elise, have we heard from escape pods two or escape pods three? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be uh, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. Thatch, my gratitude. If we can Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. The planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface and we need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Escape pods, no my escape pods. So did they first arrive here accidentally? I see, every time the volcanic moon circles it drops embers which crash into the surface. Unidentified signal nearby. Switch frequencies. Signal identified, escape pod 1. Frequency discovered. Distress beacons. There, another one. Inside the sun? No, surely it's behind it. What the fuck? No, there's got to be a world behind it, right? Can't be coming from inside the sun. See. So wait, may yeah, again, maybe the Namai are not here on purpose. Maybe they they escaped from somewhere else. Maybe they were passing through and they had to eject. One of their pods crashed here, and they only built around or inside the core because they were stuck here. The sun is going to go Nova again. I best hurry. I don't have long. 
still has power. Did this contain something? What are these? Wheels and wheels of them. Launching Escape Pod 3, Escape Pod 2, now launching Escape Pod 1. Alert! Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Begin flight log, Escape Pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. Is that it? Is that all I can translate from it? Shit. I don't have long. Emergency escape hatch. I see. Initiate it, con. Quickly move the ball. Oh shit. Straight into the black hole. Fuck a dark. What are these things, though? Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Two. There were two. The rest are here. I presume no longer alive. But the rest are here. These are no my, aren't they? These are cryopods. I presume. The two above were the ones that escaped. Look. They cycle forward and released the no my. Indeed, wait, those cryopods are very small. I thought the no my were big. Maybe they're not cryopods. I'm not sure. If they're cryopods, then why would they leave them behind? They'd open them all up. Here we go. So they move down here after they land. Whoa, okay. No, 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 no. We are not being lunch for a black hole, please. Ah, no, 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 Plume, of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it is far safer than any we've found so far. Plume, the temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. So this city was a temporary refuge. They didn't build it. Fucking hell, three minutes of oxygen remaining. Okay, I've got to hurry. I've got to get down to... Where's Rybeck? Can I get to him from here? Can I head back up in time to get more oxygen?
Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if there's, there aren't any present to respond. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're, here, if we're to find it, we need not to merely survive but to thrive. This is a wise point, Bloom, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from, from the volcanic moon's eruptions. It's beautiful. But terrifying. They're talking about these. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. Oh, wow, look, they're all on the ceiling. Oh, I don't want to... No, I don't like this now. This is probably scaring me. I don't like it. Sorry, it's giving me the willies. Am I going to walk on the ceiling above a fucking black hole? Above me, just staring at me. A singularity, the most terrifying thing in the known universe. I don't like this. I'm genuinely not liking this. It's too... None of that matters, because I'm going to run out of air any second anyway. Hang on. There must be some way to get air. Look, the symbol. The eye of the universe. Whatever it is, they marked it. Look. Here. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered whilst aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like this. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe? Imagine what, what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We might find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round, with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. can fire a scout through there. I'm gonna run out of air. So the Namai don't even... Shit. Where's Ryback's camp? Can I see it from here? Where's my... He's down beneath me. Can I make it to him in time? Too far beneath me. I'll never make it. Shit. What choice do I have? Is that or die? Fuck. 300 meters. No, we're never going to make it. Oh, he's be. Oh no, he's beyond the black hole. Wait, a tree. A tree. See a tree? Get back and did not be of course. Oh, <laughs> we're fine. Whew. Okay. <laughs> this game is great, holy shit. Okay. No, the star's gonna go again, look. She's about to go supernova any second. Okay. be the vessel the eye called to them this is this represents the eye just without the pupil they followed the signal and were attacked they were attacked by something with thorns it surrounded the vessel contained it attacked it destroyed it three escape pods were launched one was captured and caught the remaining two escaped one to Brittle Hollow. Oh no. I've seen that before.
up. Could that be their vessel? Surely not. Attacked and falling into giant steep. With a blue light escaping. Only one, not three. If it were three, I'd suggest the escape pods. Hmm. Okay. More pieces of, of the puzzle that we're putting together. Why us? Why a Harthian? <clears throat> Why do we keep waking up? Huh. Okay. Looking at the time, though, folks, I apologise. Um, yeah, I, I apologise. I, I probably need to take a break there, get a bit of lunch, go and do some adult chore-related stuff. I've got some finance stuff that I need to get on with, so... Yeah. I can pick this up again later, no doubt this evening. This is fun, though. I'm really enjoying this. For those not familiar, it's a story-based mystery-type game, by the looks of things. With a sort of big dollop of odd world. It feels very sort of Abe's Odyssey, mixed with Kerbal Space Program. And maybe a smidge of Little Big Adventure and Subnautica. Fun, though. Thank you for watching. So, I'll pick this up again later. This evening, I'm sure. And uh, we'll continue the playthrough then. But yeah, it, it is all completely blind. I'm not sure... I'm not sure... Well, I haven't seen any of this before, so... Yeah! Good fun, though. Good fun indeed. Hang on. Who's this with the toy? What was the name again? It was Mika, I think? Hey, Mika! Yeah. <laughs> You get to practice with a model ship. Woo! <laughs> oh shit! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Fuck! Sorry. Um. <clears throat> sorry, Mal. Sorry. Right. Mal didn't notice that. It's fine. Sorry, Mika. Right. So, thank you for watching. I'll be back later, I'm sure. In the meantime, then. Uh, please know that I finished the latest YouTube project in the form of Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part 3. It will go public now, in fact. It is ready to go live. The stream will be switched off, and then I'll go to the YouTube dashboard and immediately set the video public. I hope you enjoy, and thank you very much for your generous support, everybody. Right. Take care, and have a good one. Hang on a second. Let me just have a look and see who's doing a what amongst my friends. One second. Who's streaming? So that's the YouTube dashboard. Dashboard. Sorry. In fact, I'll just do it, do it now while it's here. Hang on. So dashboard. Is that the correct video just before I accidentally put like the wrong one live? Uh, this should be it. There we go. Unlisted. Off. Public. Done. There we go. Wait, did that save? I think so. Did it? It might. Have, sorry, if it doesn't work, I'll, I'll switch it off uh, on in a minute. So the latest bullshittery should now be public. Uh, thank you again, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Right. In the meantime, let me just hand you over to. So ZF Sheep is doing a bit of Elden Ring, and SWAT Knight is doing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. In which case, let me hand you over to ZF SWAT Knight. He's playing as Fem Shep, obviously best Shep. Right. Thank you. All the best. Have a lovely afternoon.